Hey y'all, it's Natalie and I am the memory keeping maestro over here with Wow Embossing today and I am going to bring you a very magical Harry Potter themed layout. So I've pulled out a bunch of powders that I believe could be star colored and I also have those lovely chippies from Mente and they are feathers, you know, like Hedwig. And I'm going to scrapbook this photo of my little boy. He's cuddled up in his Harry Potter blanket and he has a Harry Potter book and he received these things for his birthday and he was ready to um, use them on his birthday evening. And so I'm also showing you I'm going to use that die cut banner by Heidi Swab. But first I'm going to grab these Heidi Swab stamps and they have a few different size and shape stars. So I am going to stamp these stars with the wow heat embossing ink and i'm gonna like rotate my stamping block as i do it to get a nice variegated pattern and i'm just doing them in the area around which um will be surrounding the photo so i am first going to use the gold ultra high i think it's called the polished gold ultra high um but it it puffs up really big when you heat emboss it when you zap it with your heat gun. And so I really love the height that it gives and it gives really fabulous coverage too with just one um, round of it. And I always use a dry brush to make sure that I don't have any stray powders stuck anywhere. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the lovely heating action as we go along. It gets all nice and melty and see how like thick and luxurious it is, it's very puffy. I'm a big fan of this one, ultra high. And everything is linked on my Link Deli um, on the blog. So I'll link down below to that as well. Um, so you can grab all of these if you want to from the store. And I also go in and use, um, let's see, gold metallic glitter, gold metallic glitter powder, as well as the Midnight Sky, um, which is like, excuse me, a black or a gray color with glitter in it. So that's what you're going to see me do here. And again, I've just taken off a few stamps, changing it up just so that nothing looks too uniform. Um, I want it to look very organic around the photo. So there I go in with the gold metallic sparkle. That is one of my favorite ones. I've almost used up an entire jar, <laughs> but don't worry, I have a backup already. <laughs> it is so fabulous. And you'll see here in a little while, I also use some gold glitter thickers and they match so beautifully. And it just really goes with so many pages. I, I would contend that you could almost put gold on any page you create and it would work. <laughs> So we heat embossed those and it's hard to tell right here, but in the close-up photos, you can really see the difference in the ultra high versus the glitter ones. And then this is just a little one I'm going in to use um, for the Midnight Sky powder, which is that lovely black glitter you see right there. <laughs> but when you heat emboss it, it kind of um, gets a sheen to it that's a little gray or silverish maybe. Um, and it stands out really nicely on that dark background cardstock. And so you just gotta be careful, which you always have to be careful not to hold your heating gun too long in one space, but especially when you've already heat embossed around your stamping once, you definitely don't wanna hit those areas too, with too much heat or they will kind of um, dull and not really look right. So I'm building my title. Um, I changed, or I used two different size um, glitter alphas, but the title is going to be Let's Snuggle Muggle because he's wrapped up in his blanket. And then I'm going to pull out a couple of these minte chippies that are the feathers, and um, I'm going to heat emboss those as well. So I'm just kind of like putting the page together as I think I'm going to stick it all down. Um, before I finish it up. Okay, I'm now gonna heat emboss the feathers. So I just kind of press them into the pad and I go in with the white puff sparkle um, first and I do the entire feather with that color and it does puff up a little bit. It, it's not as high as the ultra high, but 
it does puff nicely. And I do um, two rounds of that. So I will heat emboss it and set it and let it cool down. And then I'll do another round just to make sure to get really nice full coverage. And then I'm going to go in um, once I have two layers of the white on the feathers and I'm going to go in with a pen and just do a few details and do a little bit of silver um, to mimic an owl's feather. So there I am going in with the second coat. Like I said, if you let it cool and everything, you're not going to mess up your ink pad or anything. You're not going to transfer any co color because that's the beauty of embossing powder is that once it's set and cooled, then it's all good to go and it's not going to mess up. It's not going to get on anything, which is a really great way to add glitter to your projects if you don't want glitter kind of falling off and going everywhere. So I'm using my tweezers to hold onto those chippy bits so that I don't burn my fingers with the um, gun. And there I am with the heat embossing pin to add just little details, which I will do with, um, I think I use polished silver. Um, and I use this embossing pin so often. It's such a fun tool and um, I reach for it a lot. So. I would recommend having one in your stash. It's really great to add little details to die cut ephemera or really anything um, without having to stamp or use your ink pad and you can be really precise with it because it's a pen. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I am just heat embossing that feather again and I'm really loving the sparkle and shine that it gives. So now I'm gonna start assembling my page. I did get that paper. I'm running low on my uh, Echo Park Witches and Wizards collection, and we might have a super secret trip coming up later this year. So I definitely want to um, save some. Of course, of co I also just have paper hoarding tendencies. So <laughs> I always just love a good Harry Potter layout. So I'm going to eventually tie those two feathers together and group them to the left of the photo. I have. Um, printed out my journaling on this little bit of craft cardstock and I'm going to cut it down and rough up the edges and I roughed up the edges around the cardstock around the photo as well it kind of reminds me of maybe like a newspaper or just some of the old things that you would see in a Harry Potter movie and so um, I always like to add those little types of distressed um, bits to my Harry Potter pages so I have those banners that are from Heidi Swap, and I'm thinking I'm going to add them in that top right corner. So I'm going to use that same craft cardstock and just um, heat emboss the whole thing with two different colors. So I go in with this from the Silk Road Trio, and it's called Pomegranate, and it's a really lovely reddish color, um, which I thought would go really nicely with the Gryffindor colors. He thinks he's a Gryffindor. I honestly think that he's a Ravenclaw or a Hufflepuff, but. Anyway, he says he's a Gryffindor. He identifies as a Gryffindor. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do that cardstock with that color and then on the other side of the cardstock, I'm gonna use from the Ancient Orient Trio, um, this brown color, which is called Tarnished Brass. It's really lovely and you'll see here in a second when I zap it that it just cures so nicely. I love it so much. Um, it's really beautiful. So. I don't really know that that goes with any of the colors, but it's just very in the vibe of Harry Potter, so it works nicely. So make sure before you run any dyes through something such as this, you allow the paper to fully cool completely. Um, otherwise, your dye cut paper might get kind of stuck in the dye. So I did use this time for cooling to rough up the edges of this die cut ephemera, which is also from the Echo Park Witches and Wizards collection, and it's just a little banner that says magic. So let's see, off screen, I tied together the two feathers with a little bit of maroon colored twine and I die cut that cardstock with the triangle banner a few different times. And now I'm gonna stick everything down and we're almost done. Um, I will take this chance to let you know that there's an affiliate link down below if you would like to go purchase any of the products that I have mentioned today, you can use that link as well as there's a blog link down below because I have detailed all of this these items on the blog for you today and you can see some close-up shots of the page as well on the blog so i'm just adding in the title let's snuggle muggle and then put the journaling right down below nestle it nicely in the crook of that uh, title and photo 
And at first I tried to kind of stick the banner below the photo, but then I'm like, no, that's not gonna work out. So I do decide to move it up there. Do I show you? Yeah, that's when I'm like, I'm putting it up there in the bottom and I'm like, wait, that just basically covers up all of the stars that I already did. So that's when I'm like, no, I'll put it up in the top right where I was planning to put the die cut banner. And that looks really nice and lovely. So um, I'm happy with how that looks. So I'm gonna get all, all of that stuck down. And then these are from Asuka, I think it's the name, or Memory, Memory Place is the name of the company, um, the American name of the company. But um, they have this lovely little spellbound ephemera collection. So I picked the little Hedwig and um, stuck her down there at the bottom. She fit really nicely. Um, across the stars and below his photo. And he really loves Hedwig and we're on the fifth book and it's just gonna be really rough to read this with him. He's very tender hearted. And actually that's what the journaling about is about on my layout, but he's gotta read it sometime. So we'll just cry through it together. <laughs> and if you haven't read it, be prepared, <laughs> but you should. It's such a wonderful story. So um, I love this little die because you can kind of bend it um, to be exactly as you need. So that has what I've done there. You can see it has a, it's like a bronze color. I mean, it's called tarnished brass. So I guess it's the brass color, <laughs> really lovely, um, metallic sheen to it. Um, and then I had a few pieces of the banner left over. So I am going to, um, just add those in on the bottom here in just a moment at the bottom left. I picked out another little piece from the Echo Park collection and I'm just gonna rough up the edges and ink them up just like all the others and stick it down in the bottom left and I think we're gonna call it a layout. I was really glad to get this little birthday layout from my son accomplished and get this journaling done. Um, it's like a really special little thing that the two of us do to read the book together um, and it's just fun, I love it. And so I like to document those special little moments so hopefully he'll always remember it too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will put a link down below as well to my um, personal YouTube channel if you would like to come follow me over there um, and see more layouts like this. Thank you guys and um, check out the links down below. Have a great day.